All right, guys, here we are picking back up on part two of the shop build. And uh, in part one, you know, we just showed delivery of material and just kind of starting fabricating some of the plates and so forth. And then this is actually going to be uh, the beginning of, of starting to actually do the construction. So you're going to see a lot of uh, drone footage uh, worked in here. And, um, you know, so the drone footage doesn't have audio with it, unfortunately. And I've kind of gotten sloppy on my editing and I've got a lot of mismatched uh, technology and stuff here that's kind of creating a little bit of a challenge with overlaying false audio on top of drone footage, which is what some people do. So I'll probably just voice over most of the drone footage and then just let the uh, footage that does have audio, just let it play out, let you watch it. a little more of the drone footage here just uh you know you can see just picking each beam up one at a time and uh the purlins as well getting everything put into place and prepared for welding these guys i think i mentioned it in the last video they did an awesome job with the, the the actual welding and the quality of the beads they were laying down it's as good as i've seen and uh just the way they were the level of Detail also with uh, the fit up and, and everything. Excellent job. I think I mentioned it in previous videos that the uh, sidewalls on this new building are 20 feet tall and uh, the building overall is 40 foot wide and 60 feet long.
right, here is more overhead footage of the uh, construction going on. And uh, this part of it right here just showing the roll-up door. And this is a 16 by 16 roll-up door. And right now I just got a manual chain hoist to, you know, roll it up and down with. I may add an automatic one later, but um, anyway, just to check out the footage here. And just kind of flying around above, giving you some looks at everything. You can see the old building there. It's now six, seven years old. The uh, Everything looks pretty good. I need to get up there and clean those gutters out.
And here's a little look at the uh, insulation and roof panels going on. And you know, a lot of you guys are gonna ask me, you know, why did you do the, uh, this type of insulation here? Um, guys, what I thought was gonna happen was that this building would go up super quick and that I didn't wanna have a chance, take a chance on needing to get the outside shell done and then waiting for insulation to get blown in because those guys are like a month behind and then have the, these other guys, you know, uh, Jason and his crew have to come back and then do the liner panels later. Well, as it turned out, this thing, the construction of this, you know, stretched out over several, uh, well, maybe a couple of months and there would have been time to do that. All right, here we are at present day time, February 3rd, and you can see we got ice and snow, but there's a look at the new shop. All right, there she is. Let's go in and take a look. Man, it is so cold and windy out there. So anyway, uh, sorry about the shaky camera. I'm shaking but it's uh a lot nicer than the uh than the other one on the inside i elected to get the whole thing lined so we don't have that nasty insulation showing and you can see here the windows used residential windows the primary reason i put those in here is to give it some ambient light I've heard bad things about skylights, that they become problematic over time, especially with the Texas sun that we have. So I've had these machines in here for a while. And I don't know if Ken watches my videos or not, but one of these is sold to him. These are the Ori 5x10 fiber lasers. And uh, like I said, one's already sold. Two are available, 3,000 watt machines basically $100,000 each. So anyway, guys, that is going to wrap up this video. Hope you enjoyed the, uh, the build and a big thanks to Jason and his crew. By the way, if anybody wants that and wants to come get it, I'd like to sell that 10,000 pound hydraulic lift system. I got this forklift now, which is 11,000 pound rated. So I don't really need that anymore for the most part. I mean, it might be kind of handy, but it's mostly in my way. This is 14 feet wide between there. The door is 16 feet wide. And these are a half inch under 16 feet wide. So um, I can't get through that door or through this sideways, you know, because I can lift these. That forklift will lift these in one, you know, easily by themselves. So anyway, guys, see ya. And here's a look back inside the old shop. Some of you guys like to see it. It's uh, yeah, just all this stuff right here is goes with the lasers and uh, these things just take up a lot of space. Some of this stuff is spare. I've got spare transformers um, and this is a spare right here, uh, chiller. So starting to starting to get spare stuff. I've got. Uh, I'm gonna get spare um, power sources also, uh, which are the most expensive part of the machine. So still looking to do that. I got some press brake tooling right here, and I started building a, a crate for that one, and just more stuff. But um, never mind the bags right there. They got some old clothes in them for my daughter, but. I got high bay LEDs in those right there that are gonna go in the new shop. And uh, so I gotta get, get going on that pretty soon. But yeah, there's a look outside the, right outside the door. And you can see right here, we're gonna, uh, this is 40 by 60 right there that the shop's sitting on. And that's another 40 by 120 going on out there. For now, it's gonna be the driveway, but hey, no reason why we couldn't just take the 60 feet or the 40 feet wide and push that straight on out and connect it to this current building. Send me an email to the email address you see on the screen right there if you're interested in any kind of machine. Uh, right now, all I have is lasers here, but I have two or let's see, yeah, two containers of press brakes on the way. 
Um, the first one is going to be pretty much all sold um, with deposits on those, but I got air compressors, laser air compressors, 290 PSI, 50 CFM, uh, DHH slash Rocky air compressors, and also got some sanders on the way. So, um, yeah, just interested in anything, send me an email. Uh, I'm super busy right now. I'll do my best to get back to you as soon as I can with pricing and whatnot. Thanks.